The easiest way to set up email automation with MailChimp for something like lead nurturing is by using the journey. So once you log into MailChimp, you can see journeys on the left here. Now journeys is something that you're going to have to pay to upgrade. There are ways of doing automation without paying for this feature, but they're just a bit more complicated and kind of create a mess. So this is the easiest way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to all journeys. And we're going to select the option choose pre-built journey you could also just build one from scratch now you can see there are a variety of pre-built templates here for emails some of them are specifically designed for e-commerce some are specifically designed for other purposes such as dealing with facebook leads but what we're going to do is work with the most basic one which is welcome new contacts in my experience working with email automation, even with more advanced tools like Marketo, companies often get a little too excited about creating all these different email sequences, nurturing flows. And what ends up happening is none of it really manifests. So they just get too complicated, too intricate. It's easier just to go with something simple and get it started and then get more complex later on. So let's welcome new contacts and use this template. I'm going to select use this journey, continue with this audience and so here we are with a nice little flow diagram here so what we're going to say is the trigger for entering this journey or this email automation is going to be uh, people that have been tagged this is going to give us a little more flexibility than the default which is signs up for an email so i'm going to change the starting point as tag added you can see you could also do something like birthday receiving an email or the default signing up so let's go with tag added and I'm going to say the tag is SAS 2023. And we'll save that as the starting point. Now, you, you can add different steps here, but the simplest would be an email. So we could change the subject to SAS marketing tips, let's say. Save that. Uh, the schedule every day as soon as possible is usually what I would go with. You can select specific days of the week, but I, I don't find those relevant in most cases. Uh, and with the little trick here is you need to select a template to actually design the email. It's a little bit hidden here, but you just select this here. And you can go with pre-existing templates that MailChimp provides. You can see these minimalist ones that are based on text and some images, some more colorful ones here. Uh, usually what I do is I select the recently sent emails so that I can use uh, templates that I've already been using. So I would just apply that and then start editing the text. You can also see you have save templates, uh, which I recommend so you can create emails that have a consistent brand look to them. But let's just go ahead and go with the recent one and hit apply. And we're here, I can change this text to say whatever I want. I could just delete it, backspace it. Uh, I can go here and add in hyperlinks, for example, to a specific e-commerce product or uh, a lead generation page, any sort of landing page that I want. You can uh, add little call to action buttons. So let's just say I wanna delete that one or I wanna move it. Um, let's just play around with this for a little bit and delete this. Let's say we want to add a button. We could drag that in. We could drag in an image and insert an image. All sorts of fun we can have here with that. Now, let's just say that was the first welcome email. Well, we usually want to nurture people over numerous touch points. We want to amp up the frequency, uh, which is one of the biggest advantages with emails, that the frequency can be pretty cheap. Uh, but often what we want to do is set in some sort of time delay. So let's say it's three days. And then after that, we send the second email. So we can say send email. And we can create another email and, and so on. We could do another email in six days and then six days later and then three days. And ultimately, the idea is to get them to take an action such as become a lead, request a consultation, buy a product, etc. Uh, I just want to highlight some of the more advanced features here. Uh, we have if else conditions, percentage split, wait for trigger, time delay, which is the standard that I use, send emails, send survey, uh, web hook, group on group, tag on tag. So maybe they reach a certain point and then they get tagged and then put into a different sequence, update contact, et cetera. 
I just want to show you an example of a email automation journey that I set up recently. So it's the SAS Nurture 2023. Uh, we're see, we see we already have some data on how many people are opening it. So 6.3%, it's a little too early to assess any of that, but we can see the performance for each individual step in the journey, uh, which is useful data. You can also see that the emails are sent pretty um, frequently. So two day delay, two day delay, one day delay, two day delay. Uh, I would say if you're selling a low price product or consumer product, you might wanna be pretty aggressive. Uh, if you're going business to business enterprise, it might get a bit annoying. So you probably want to space it out. I would say your baseline should be around once a week, especially if you're nurturing for an extended period. Uh, but a lot of marketers are really aggressive and um, you could send an email a day. Uh, maybe more realistically would be once every three days on the, uh, on the slightly more aggressive side. Uh, we can just take a look at what these emails look like. And to do that, we would have two different options. One is to edit it, which is gonna require pausing this particular step in the journey. The other is to send a test email. So you could just send a test email to yourself, put in your email address here and send the test. Make sure you check your, your junk folders to make sure it's not filtered out. Uh, but there you go. This is how you set up email automation with MailChimp.